Hey guys, Ethan, uh, showing you how to upgrade your kernel in Gen 2 uh, to the newer versions. Uh, Gen 2 at the moment, it's shipping with 5.4.48 Gen 2, and that's fine, but people that want to be more up to date or just want to try the newer kernels, whether that matters to you or not, might want to upgrade it. So I'll show you how to do it real quick. So let's, uh, first of all, as super user, copy, slash user, source, Linux, and then you want to get your .config out of your kernel, and we'll send it here and we'll call it kernel.config just so it's not a hidden file so there's kernel.config and now we're gonna go edit uh, package.accept keywords you might have to create this directory like I do but just so I can get the information we're gonna do a fake emerge of uh, Gen 2 sources, if I could spell that right, real quick, just so we can see what the actual name of it is. It's sys kernel Gen 2 sources. So we're gonna write here sys kernel Gen 2 sources, and we're going to accept the AMD 64 or whatever your architecture is. This is the 64 bit, like Intel and AMD, generally the desktop processors. Uh, you might wanna do ARM 64 or whatever your architecture is. And we're going to add that to the end of Gen 2 sources. So this is just saying that we want like the less stable, like potentially experimental. And we're going to save that. Now, if we run this uh, emerge command again, you'll see instead of asking us for 5.4.48, it's going to ask us for 5.8.2. We're going to say yes to that. Emerging a kernel generally doesn't take too, too long. But in the meantime, if you locate, actually, I don't want to go into Linux. If you go to SRC, you see that we have Linux 5.4.48 Gen 2, and if I ls-l, you'll see that that's actually symlinked to uh, the Linux folder. So this Linux folder isn't actually the kernel. This is. You're just accessing it like if you're going to change between kernel versions, Linux is always the directory that you're going to access. This is really uh, nothing that you have to worry about right now, but there's a reason that I'm telling you this. So also, if you run do as e select, well, I guess just run it as a root. You don't have to run do as kernel list. It's going to show us that we only have Linux 5.4.4 available as the kernel right now. And when we get the new one, when this one finishes installing, there's going to be a new folder and a new choice. And depending on what you choose, one for 5.4.4 or two for 5.8.2, whatever you choose, it's going to symlink your folder. So if I do this command again, we have two kernels available. We're going to select two, not 23, two. Uh, is it not select, is it set? There we go. Now if we ls-l, 5.8.2 is what Linux is, uh, is linked to. So cd into Linux, and if you ls, we'll do make mr proper, of course as do as. And MR proper is just going to basically like clean out the entirety of the kernel. And now we're going to CP, we're going to have to do as CP from our home to the kernel.config and copy it over here as .config and do as make old def config. This is basically just if you're sending an old kernel config to a new kernel, you're going to want to run this just so that you can adapt the old stuff to the new stuff all fine. And we'll do do as make menu config. So we can verify that the kernel did actually got sent over. Ooh, I need to close this window. Not enough room in the terminal. So if you go down here, you can see my kernel command line options are still here. This is usually how I check. And then I'm gonna run do as make dash j7, which is I have six cores to this VM, and then do as make modules install install. And that's basically just how you compile a kernel generally. This is nothing special, this is just how you do it normally. And I think it's important right about now just to mention that you need to have your root mounted to slash boot because make install, which is its own individual command, we had it at the end of like make modules install install, is just gonna take the bz image from, I can show you here, if I was going to do like a CP arch for architecture, x86 boot and bz image. This is the kernel itself and running make install is just going to send bz image as uh, I can show you here as well. Boot 
vm linus and on the version of your kernel so now we're actually going to take 5.8 which we just compiled and we're going to send it over to boot boot 64 whatever right or efi you might want to do like your make in it cpio linux 58 or however you do it with the whatever bootloader you have but anyways just to confirm one more time you name dash arb we're still on 5.4.8 but running a reboot when we boot back up no problems we should just be on 5.8.2 everything should have been adapted over sometimes you might have some issues with like uh, potential kernel panics if one module doesn't go over like well to the other one but you can see on the top already 5.8.2 gen 2 and just to show you further if i do uname dash r 5.8.2 gen 2 so it can even start x and also sometimes kernel like configuring your kernel you might have to re-emerge xorg drivers but in this case i didn't so anyways that's all see you later